What's going on guys, it's Bataha. Doing some upgrades on the 212 Hemi. We're installing a 265 hot cam, billet rod, 22 pound valve springs, and a cast aluminum flywheel. So started out by reading the instructions. That should surprise some of y'all coming from me. Check the crank. We are within spec. So I went to get the rod, undo the bolts on the rod. I rounded off one of those bolts. We got an upgrade. Because I used a 7mm 6 sided socket, and it says on the first page of the instructions to use a quarter inch 12 sided socket. Luckily, I ordered a second set of bolts because I didn't know the rod came with the bolts. Ground down the crank to clear the cam, then I went to torque the rod to set the bearings. Hang on now, boy. Still using that 7mm. What do you think's gonna happen? Ordered the right socket. Torqued that rod, got those bearings set. Went to put the piston in, didn't offset the rings by 180 degrees. Cut my hand on the ring compressor. <laughs> oof, oof, golly, cut deep. There's blood on the freaking rod now. And I ended up cracking a section in between the grooves on the piston, so I had to order another piston. On this one, I offset the rings by 180, slid right in, tapped the governor hole on the top of the bolt, put new gaskets, cut up this old side cover, holds the crank and the cam in place. I can now turn over the engine, make sure everything clears, and it did clear. 22 pound valve springs, 15 on Amazon. Head gasket is 20 thousand stick. The hemi head. Oh yeah.
Was that a torque hammer wrist? You learned that in mechanics school. Adjusted the valves, put the intake on and the carburetor on kind of loosely just for the test run. Coils gap correctly. Had to take this off, put it back on, and put that on. And I forgot the key, so I'm glad I had to take that off. So you gotta tighten up the spark plug. I put a zip tie on the coil because this little connector on the bottom, I tried pinching it to get it to hold on better, but it was kept kind of just, it was loose on there. I didn't want it to fly off when I was riding, so zip tie that. Throw on this side cover on now. We got the Hemi, got the intake mounted up, and I'll use some wires to wire so those don't fall off. I also use blue Loctite on these two right in there. You can see it in there. Now the question is, is this thing going to blow up or is this going to work? I thought that was this thing at first. I was like, well, it just shot something out. <laughs> 